you know, you were talking about building that room on. Yeah, and the children are tumbling around all over us, and I think we need a bigger room yeah. for all well, those babies. Well, I think we do. Well, you ought to have you made up your mind what, what kind of room you want or what you... I want a big room, a big room, <laughs> <laughs> Since beginning his campaign for the Republican nomination for president, John and Nellie Connolly especially cherish those rare, quiet moments when they can be together to talk about family matters. We, uh, we started going together in, in 1935. So we went together for five years. And we went into the marriage vows, uh, believing in them, understanding what we were doing. We started with, uh, with nothing except uh, the blessings of good health and, uh, and an education. We were separated a great deal during the war, which uh, didn't please either of us. I spent four and a half years in the Navy, but uh, at the same time, we were in love with each other. We were then, we are now, and uh, we've always tried to be uh, considerate uh, one with the other. We've certainly been tolerant of uh, each other's views and feelings and sympathetic about those feelings. We've been blessed with, uh, with a wonderful family, She's close to her family. Uh, I'm close to my brothers and sisters. And so it was natural, I think, that, uh, that we would be so close to our own children and to our own grandchildren. And uh, I, I suppose when you think about the sacrifices that politics demands, at least on the national level, the greatest uh, uh, sacrifice that we make is the time away from, uh, from those uh, grandchildren and children. Uh, I must say uh, to all prospective grandparents that it is the most uh, underrated status in life. It, uh, uh, when they finally achieve that distinction of being grandparents, uh, they, a whole new world is going to open up for them. Can you say light? Light. Where's the light? Yeah. Where's the deer? Where's the, wait a minute, where's, where's the deer? The where's, where's the elk? Where's the elk? Show Guggy where the elk is. Uh, that's a way. That's a way. That's a way. <laughs> and then follow that with a better and get these fields planted. Yeah. I think we'll have to use it in most of the sandy fields we want, but the harder fields we will, won't we? John Connolly's been a working farmer and rancher much of his life. He still is. Decisions and responsibilities for the crops and livestock represent a family effort. Now, Robert, this sandy part of the field I don't think needs to be chiseled. Go in there and bed it without it. Okay. But in the heavier spots and where that... Uh, where you got that clay, mixed clay, I'd go on and rip it because uh, with that chisel. Now, on the river, what did we make this year? We made 100 bushels, didn't we? Yes, sir. Well, I'd go and plant corn on the river field again. I have never attempted to prepare myself to write a page in history for myself. I approach things, I suppose, a bit differently. Uh, if there's a job to be done, and then you try to do it. You try to do the very best you know how. In terms of what capacity do you have to deal with a problem that confronts you? What can you do to, to ease the pain or suffering? What can you do to improve the economic conditions? What can you do to provide for greater security? What can you do to enhance the peace? Uh, these are the problems that you have to deal with. History will take care of itself. All of John's life has prepared him to be a good president, uh, his travels and, and all of his uh, uh, jobs in the private sector and all of his knowledge of, of the uh, Congress. And I just think he's well qualified and uh, he sure does love this country. <laughs>